Oh my, oh my, it's like almost like a oxtail soup. to go eat some lunch for Sunday. Probably gonna get some pho, as always. <laughs> How about we eat pho for lunch and then sushi for dinner? Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What did we eat last time? 13? Ah, how special beef noodle. So ready. Mm, this is what we're here for. Their house made special sauce. <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh, I missed this. Oh my, oh my, it's like almost like an oxtail soup. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay, I think yeah, I think it's the best. Yeah. Oh. We thought that place was Yeah, we, we thought our neighbor neighborhood fall was good, but this is this is next level. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. I gotta focus. So Sunday is already almost over and tomorrow is Memorial Day, so no trade. Um, but I am going to be studying up a lot of volume profile for this weekend. I did start on um, like volume profile, I guess, shapes and just figuring out like important key levels. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel like volume profile works really well. You know, I've used it in the past and tried it out. But um, I do want to get more practice of it. And then hopefully I can utilize it tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, Tuesday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning. It's Tuesday after the Memorial Day weekend. It was a long weekend. I had a pretty good weekend reset um, away from trading and I feel pretty good. Um, I didn't really get to study a lot, unfortunately, but I am ready to trade. Hopefully we can get some good lessons today. Uh, not gonna chase the money. Gonna stick with two micros, so let's get it. I'll let you guys know after the trade. All right, so today, Tuesday, um, I took three trades. All three are shorts and it was at the market open. Two of them, first trades was a loss and then the last one was a nice win to cover up the losses. But then overall, I feel like I definitely could have been more patient, traded better for the last trade. But then um, here's my breakdown. So on the daily yesterday, we had a top heavy distribution. As you can see, we formed sort of this high volume node at the top and we closed at or near the bottom of the top. But then once we kind of got above the high volume node on the daily, as you can see where my cursor is, on the 30 minute before the market opened, we opened up top heavy again, like high volume node at the top and we closed inside, showing that we might have um, trapped buyers in here. I took a trade right before the market opened because I was watching this sort of trend line right here breaking and then i thought this might have been a green red green uh, sorry red green red move and then i shorted right here kind of expecting you know break of this trend line to go but then at market open we kind of gapped up 
were pushed up and then I got out here when we broke this four hour key level. And then when we kind of get back, get back down, I shorted again in that same candle and then got wicked out and then, you know, stopped out right here. Well, first one was 30 ticks and then the second one was 60 ticks. So it was around like 90 tick loss in total. And then on the third trade, that's when I took a short. When we broke down, had a retest around this level. That's when I went in for a short. I didn't wait for the candle close for this because I expected, you know, break of this structure right here and then kind of retest. And then I expected a short to come in because we kind of now got back below this fair value. All this blue blue area is fair value and we're kind of like stacked up right here. So meaning there's a lot of volume, heavy volume here. But once we got back below this, this acts as a resistance. So that's kind of how I got, how I got my confluence. To go short short there and then i took my first tp at 100 ticks so that's about 1.9 risk to reward actually i think i was risking somewhere like this so it's about 3.18 risk to reward and then the next one i literally waited for break even <laughs> somehow i didn't get out um i didn't get filled at this break break even level out and then the last one i kind of took TP right here once we broke this key level. Gonna try to be more patient tomorrow. So I am learning order flow and I'm studying it. So I'm gonna learn that today and then maybe I can implement it tomorrow, but let's see. I think I'm done for the day. I am, no, I'm not thinking I'm done for the day. I am done for the day. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. That was pretty good last trade, but um, definitely can be more patient. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's get it. Good morning guys, it's Friday and I just finished trading on ES and I'm up $88 with two micro contracts. Well, that just hit TP. But um, yeah, today was a pretty good day overall. Um, I think I managed my trades very well. So as I said, I've been using volume profile, support resistance and just trading off of those. And here in the morning at about 6.21 before the market open, my market opens at 6.30 a.m. in the Pacific time, um, I took my first trade when we, on the one hour, we were forming this top heavy distribution. As you can see, the volume, the cluster volume, high volume node is at this top. We were looking like we were about to close in this area, which is kind of signifying, again, trap buyers. As you can see on the daily, we closed below the um, fair value. So this area right here, fair value, is gonna act as a resistance. That's about 5260 and 5270 area right here where there was a accumulation, as you can see, consolidation. So in the pre-market, we kind of accumulated and consolidated right here. And then we kind of broke down almost right here. As you can see on the five minute, where my cursor is, we can see this bearish engulfing candle. That's kind of why I jumped in right here on the next candle. And then from here, I was sort of targeting this fair value area right here, or at least this low. We got about, what is this, 9.5 points um, to the downside, and I was risking above this candle, so I was risking about 5 points. It hit about, I guess, like 1 to 2-ish one to two points, and then it kind of rallied back. Um, after the market opened, I kind of expected this to drop at least some to, somewhat to here. But, um, you know, unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, got stopped out, kind of like a little bit in profit. And then I jumped in right here again, going short. And then this was a resistance, as you can see on the 15 minutes. Resistance held, resistance. And then kind of like this is a key level. So I was also watching this key level and then kind of attempted a short here risking just above this high and then when we broke out that's when i kind of stopped out and then my last trade um around this level fair value point of control that's where i kind of saw like stalling as you can see we kind of rejected it here and then that's when i took another final short right here kind of risking this high but um, yeah, I was risking about four points. And then my first TP was at about this level where we uh, where we saw like buyers stepping in right here. So that was 8.5 points. So that's about one to two risk to reward. Us uh, take profit was right here. So that's one to 3.19, you know, risk to reward. So beautiful day today. 
So for Wednesday and Thursday, I haven't went over the trades, but then Wednesday, I took a loss. As you can see, my balance right now is at 49,160 from 50k. So on Motive Wave, they have a functionality where you can cross trade. So you can see I'm charting on ES, but I can cross trade on MES to take micro contracts. And unfortunately, that wasn't turned on. Like you literally have to manually toggle it and then that wasn't toggled for some reason because i reset i reset the chart so i took two nq contracts instead of two mnq and then i took like you know around 100 tick stop loss or i took 50 tick stop loss twice for that day and then you know i got below 49,000. i was about i was about i was at about like 48,000. i just you know took those two losses and then on thursday yesterday um, rhythmic was having issues so unfortunately like i took a trade and i believe i got one win but they kind of wiped out the losses so yesterday and then i started off at 149,000, something like that and then today I had a nice win, so I'm back at 49,160. But as I've said, I've been studying volume profile and also I've been studying order flow. Overall, I feel like this week has been pretty good. And I gotta tell you guys, sizing down has been so good for my psychology and mental health <laughs> to say. Because I've been feeling pretty much no pressure and no anxiety throughout this whole week trading like come on like okay win i if i win it's about like 80 dollars when i lose it's about like 40 dollars to 50 dollars yeah that's like nothing and i think if you guys are struggling and you guys really want to get better i really 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 recommend just sizing down and learning how to trade because money can come later once you master it but if you can get down to education and just blow the accounts and get you know FOMO and mad about like blowing accounts then you're not going to be able to focus on learning and you're just going to be focusing on making money and that's not going to happen unless you get better in trading you know money comes naturally so yeah for me i'm definitely going to be continuing to sticking with two micros not going to be sizing up until i see consistent profit prof, blah, profitability for one month that's my target. And I just want to be confident in my setups before I size up or do anything. And even if I size up, I'm just going to be sizing up to like maybe like four micros, you know, at most. Because I really don't care about passing this account. That's not my goal. You know, eventually I want to pass it. But like right now, passing or failing really doesn't matter. I'm treating this like a demo account, just focusing on the process. Oh, and also, if you guys haven't checked out all the deals on Pro Firms, I believe they're ending today as a recording. This is May 31st. This video is probably going to go out on Sunday. So I don't know if any deals are going to be keep happening. But um, yeah, go check out the prices and compare them on AsianHustle.com. And I'll see you guys in next video.